welcome back to another episode of Growing with Lala's Crops. So as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be on how I constructed my cucumber trellis. I have received quite a few questions about where I purchased the materials from and how I made it. So this video is for you guys, so stay tuned. You can actually use this structure for, you know, a lot of your vegetables that grow up on vines, like you can, or even um, like grapes, you can put grapes on this uh, type of trellis. Originally, I just had this cage back here for my cucumbers, but they outgrew them. So I decided, and that's when I decided to make something like this, where, you know, they just had an ample amount of room to, to still grow and, and so forth. So, so yeah, that was the whole purpose of me making this trellis so that I could have, give myself more options. What I'm gonna do now is I take this off of this trellis back here so I can show you guys how I made it. Okay, so these are all of the stack arms that I have removed and these are the stacks that i use when you go to the store you'll notice that oh it says like a for a tomato cage and that's fine all you really need is um the stacks and then they you can either purchase these separately or like i said you could purchase a kit so a kit is going to have three stacks and then it's going to have six stack arms that come with it so for some that may be enough and then for some others that may not be enough so i decided to purchase um two kits so i have six stacks in total so this is three and then this is another three down here that keeps on falling and then i decided it, of course it came with six each so a total of 12 stack arms that i was able to you know use but I'm extra, I decided, like I said, to buy some individual stack arms, as you can see, to make my trellis a little bit more larger. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to place these stacks into the soil because it's much easier to, um, it's much easier to do when it's already into the soil all the way down. Make sure that it's, you know, stable. I mean, it doesn't have to be too, too stable right now. And then, depending on the size that you want, it would determine of how wide you want to, you know, do your trellis. Now, you can do two stacks, but what I did, I did three stacks. So, I have one right here. And you know what, I don't know, I may make my next one a little smaller, because, I don't think I will. Well, no, actually, no. I think I'm gonna still do three. Put one right here. But the stack arms will help you figure out how you need to position or how far apart you need to position your stack arms, okay? And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so now that I have those in, the stack arms. So before you even try to do the, complete the whole structure, you need to make sure that it has enough distance to clip on to the other stack. Okay. So that's a good enough distance right there. Because if it's too far apart, it won't be able to, you know, attach to the stacks, okay? From there, like I said, you can either stick with two stacks and then you know build your way up like you know add your little stacks you know like like that and then go from there i forgot to tell you guys how tall these are i believe these are six feet tall that's a good thing and you want to make kind of make sure that they they are at the same height okay so now i'm going to add on another stack arm so that this is just connecting all three of the stacks okay and I would suggest 
putting one, putting some in the middle and then putting some at the bottom so that it will not try to move around on you. Okay, now see, I have to move this one over because I did move it a little bit. Okay. Sometimes you have to move it around. And make sure it's down in there good so it won't move you know, around on you. Okay. Get another stack arm to put on the other side. Well, to connect the other stack. stack. <laughs> Zoom out. Okay. Okay, so that's too far apart. So I'm going to move this over some more. So, uh oh. So that it connects. Okay. I'm put some dirt around it. Make sure. Okay, that's better. Okay, it's not it's not perfect right now. Okay, don't judge it. Now I'm gonna get some more stacks. The other three. So now we have one, two, three stacks, and we have um, the stack arms just just to connect them. Okay, now I'm gonna add three more stacks in here. I don't know why I didn't just use these two I have right here already, but whatever. So yeah, put one right down here, and then put one down here in the middle. I may still have to move this around, but I'm trying to line it up with the other three, okay? Okay, so now how we are going to connect the, the side that we have already constructed, it's only a way, we still have to add some more stack arms. You know what, I'm gonna add some more to the top. That's what I was supposed to do. Okay, so now I'm gonna connect the top over to this side and apply a stack arm to connect it. Okay, so that's gonna kind of hold, once I get this soil, hold this structure into place. Okay, let me show you. I have the two, I have, well, I have one, two, three stacks into the soil and then I started from the bottom and added two stack arms which are these so that it can you know keep the stacks in place and then I added two in the middle and then two to the top so that you know as I'm trying to do the other side it won't move around on me okay okay so now I'm going to repeat the same process to these three stacks so I don't need to explain anything. I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. Okay, so it looks weird right now, but like I said, this is one piece right here. And then this is the other piece right here. You feel like, okay, well, this is too large for you. You can always downsize it to just these two pieces right here. So just two stacks. Well, for four in total, if you want to connect them in a cave trellis. Or if you want it to go a little larger, and you can always expand on this too. Um, you can know you can add more stacks to it and then of course add more arms to it So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this piece and this piece together by using some more stack arms, okay? So I'm gonna come from the side right here And I'm just gonna add Some stacks like I was doing before at the top and you guys, please bear with me. I'm just using one hand because I just wanted to make sure that I'm up close for you guys so that you can, you know, get a good angle of things. Now, it looks skinny right, right now. Don't, don't worry about it, okay? It's going to come together, okay? I promise. So, I have one right here. I'm going to put one in the middle to connect this side to this side, okay? Okay, and then I'm gonna put one down at the bottom. 
Now see, with this, I need to move it out so that it can connect from the side, okay? That doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm trying to make it, but it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? All right, so for the most part, we have this side connected, okay? Now I'm gonna do the other side using some more stack arms. So this is the back view. You can see it. Oh, like I said, one, two, three, four, five, six stacks. And what I use to connect this side to this side are the stack arms. I started from the bottom. I placed two stack arms. And if you just wanna use two stacks, all you would need is one stack arm on each side, okay? But if you want to expand it to the size that I have, you would need two or four in total at the bottom. Now, if you want to expand further than what I have, then you would need to add, you know, two more and so forth, okay? Okay, moving up to the middle, same amount, four in total, two on each side, same process for the top, okay? All right, so that's just to get the structure down pat. Once you have that, and make sure it's into the soil so they won't move around on you, then you start connecting the whole trellis together, which is adding the stack arms on the sides of the trellis. I have a total of just three right now just to get the structure together so that I can start adding more stacks to it, okay? same process for the other side okay I'm not gonna show you that side okay so for the most part this is the trailers that I have basically constructed now you just go in and kind of personal personalize it to your liking you know depending on what you're growing will determine how how many stack arms you want to add you know to your trellis for me I will be using this again for some cucumbers so I'm going to start adding more stack arms towards the bottom because of course, everything grows from the ground on up. But like I said, for the most part, this is basically how I made this trailers and it came out pretty good. Of course, you know, you have OCD like I do, you want them to be straight. <laughs> After everything is set up, I like to go back in and, this, and just straighten up the stack arms so that it looks presentable. So I'm just going to, um, you know, just add a little bit more arms to the structure so that you guys can get a better um, visual of the trellis and so forth. So, yeah. So stay tuned. Okay, so you see how that's all coming together. Like I said, if you wanted to plant things on this side to grow, you know, cool. Like if you want to do companion uh, planting, you know, things that grow well together and you want to provide support for all of the vegetables that you're growing in this area, you can do that. So. I don't mind sharing. As long as you share this video. <laughs> you gotta 
share, you gotta share, share this video. And if you guys want me to, you know, show you again, but maybe like in a different, like a smaller size, I can do that. I can't show you a larger size because I'm not about to go out and buy another kit. I'm using what I already have. So. I think I'm going to add, I'm going to add some more. I don't think y'all need some right there. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna add a few more right here. For the most part, yeah, this is the structure of it. And like I said, you can go in and just, you know, um, fix any arms that are like crooked, like what I'm doing, so that it can look, look a little bit more presentable, more organized, and not all over the place. And like I said, you don't have to have as many arms, you know. You know, you might have to just adjust it by like pushing it down to make it even. And yeah. So that basically concludes today's video. Like I said, I just wanted to show some people who had questions about, you know, where I purchased the materials and how I, you know, did my trailers. I thought it would be a good video to do and, you know, just to show you guys. So I basically moved this from back here up front. I may still move it again, I don't know yet. But I do know that I will be growing more cucumbers on this in the near future, so. Yeah, so right now I'm gonna show you guys where I purchased the materials from. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get on my phone and screenshot it and show you guys where I get it from so that when you, if you decide to make this, you know where to go. You know what materials, if you don't know where it is exactly in the store, you know what to ask for. Or you can also order it online. So this is all a good thing. And you can do like, you know, the pickup. So at the store pickup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was very informative. Um, and let me know in the comments below if you decide to, you know, make this design. I, it would give me great pleasure knowing that you know, other people are taking interest in, you know, what I constructed for my garden. And just to know that you guys are enjoying my videos and what I'm providing for you guys. So I will see you guys in my next video. As always, happy gardening. And thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome. Don't go anywhere. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.